Quick ratio, also known as the acid test ratio, is a measure of liquidity that describes how well a company could pay off its current liabilities with its current assets. The quick ratio is a more conservative measure than the current ratio because it excludes inventory from its calculation. The quick ratio can be defined as current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. There are even more refined versions of the quick ratio that exclude all current assets and only consider the most liquid of current assets. It is important to make sure when comparing financial ratios that the results for both ratios were the result of the same formula. Another formula for the quick ratio is cash and cash equivalents plus short-term investments plus accounts receivables divided by current liabilities. Generally, a higher ratio is better. Higher ratios mean that the company is less likely to experience financial distress if all current liabilities were to come due. Also, lenders such as banks look at liquidity ratios to make decisions about loans. The higher the quick ratio, the more likely a company is to get approved for low interest loans that it can be used to make profitable investments. However, just because one company has a higher quick ratio than another does not always mean that it is a better company. A company could just keep all of its earnings in cash and build up its liquidity ratios, but this would be at the expense of the owners if these earnings were not paid out as dividends or invested in profitable projects. As with anything else, there needs to be balance. Now we'll take a look at the balance sheet for Pier 1 Imports and Bed Bath & Beyond to calculate their quick ratios and compare them to each other. First, we'll find the quick ratio for Pier 1 Imports. To do this, we need to get their most recent balance sheet, which can be found in their annual report, which can be found on their website under Investor Relations. As you can see, Pier 1's total current assets are $650,314,000, of which $322,482,000 is inventories, and their total current liabilities are $245,388,000. With this information, we can calculate the quick ratio by plugging these numbers into the formula. Pier 1's quick ratio is 1.336. Now let's find the quick ratio for Bed Bath & Beyond. Just as we did with Pier 1, we need to find Bed Bath & Beyond's most recent annual report to get their most recent annual balance sheet. This can be found on their company website under Investor Relations. As you can see, Bed Bath & Beyond's total current assets are $4 billion $142,939,000, of which $2,071,890,000 is merchandise inventory, and Bed Bath & Beyond's total current liabilities are $1,339,130,000. We plug these numbers into the quick ratio formula, and we find that their quick ratio is 1.546. There is a significant difference if we were to compare both companies' current ratios to their quick ratios. This is because inventory makes up about 50% of both companies' total current assets. This shows the significance of how much more conservative the quick ratio is than the current ratio. If either Pier 1 Imports or Bed Bath & Beyond's inventory is not highly marketable or not worth the amounts reported on the balance sheet, the current ratio would have painted an unrealistic picture. Since the quick ratio excludes inventory, we can also exclude any uncertainties concerning inventory. However, there is still a flaw in the quick ratio since it factors in accounts receivables. If two companies had identical balance sheets except one company collected its accounts receivable faster than the other, then even though their ratios would be the same, the company that collects its receivables faster would actually be the most liquid. While the current ratio and quick ratio theoretically make sense, Investors need to be aware of the flaws and understand that the true measure of liquidity takes into account the true amount of time it takes for a company to convert its working capital assets into cash.